hi everyone. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to start working on a new peg head here to replace this one with holes that are smaller in here than what we have in this particular one. That's because the tuners are a different size post. So we need to make this again and we're going to make it smaller. Now what I have done is I've got a three quarter inch piece of Baltic birch and I have got it cut the exact width. So we're going to go over to the bandsaw in a minute and we're going to saw this off and this off, this and this and around here and in here. And then what we're going to do is bump it up against the uh, spindle sander to bring it nice and smooth to the line so that we know exactly where we are and hopefully get it exactly even. Then what we do following that is we position the uh, holes that are going to go through for the tuners here and we're going to put those in three uh, one half inch in from each of the sides because that's the dimension that we want for uh, the nut that'll set up and give me nice even spacing. So we're going to do that and we'll take this corner and this corner and we'll use a Forstner bit which is going to be five eighths of an inch and we will embed it part way down and then drill the rest of the hole. In order to do that, I will be taking a smaller drill bit. We'll do all of this on the drill press and I'll drill right through these holes so that when it comes time to taking this, putting it on the drill press and getting it nice and even, that hole that goes all the way through will grab the point of the Forstner bit and grab the point of the Brad, uh, Brad point uh, drill bit and allow us to center it and go right through so it'll be nice and even because we don't want this thing fitting on our neck looking like that or looking like that. We want it nice and straight. So that's what we're going to do here and we'll get onto that right now. Let's head over to the bandsaw and we'll get that done. Okay, let's do it. Well, there we go. We got the rough shape. Looks pretty good. We can sand that off. So we're at the point where we've got the basic shape here. It's pretty good up in here and around here. But what we're going to do at this point is we're going to sand it and we're going to use the jig here just to make sure that we've got it kind of smooth, the same on both sides. And then we're ready to start drilling through there and 
put the holes in there. So what do you say we do that? And I'll show you how we sand that right now. That should give you a good view. So all I'm doing here is just taking this jig that I use and I've got some 220 sandpaper here and I'm just simply gently going at it keeping everything flush so it's nice and smooth so when the router goes around here it won't jump or make any funny looking bumps in the peg head that's pretty smooth all the way along there yes I like that now we'll do the other side this is not hard to do it's just it just takes time that's all and the more time you spend on this the more accurate you become the better the peg head will look once it's all done and shaped out Wow. That's looking very good. All right, we're going to check our measurements coming in from the side here by half an inch, from this side half an inch, and here, and here, and here, before we drill through those. And we'll do that in just a minute. I'll measure those, and then we'll head over to the drill press. These measurements for where we want the tuner holes are spot on, so that, that's good. We're ready to go. But before I do that, I have an awl here, nice sharp point, and I just want to put that right on the center mark. Okay, we have the positions now where we're going to drill through here and I'm going to drill right through with the smaller bit and we'll show you that in just one second is this is centered pretty good so let's drill this right through Okay, so we have the holes drilled right through. Now I'm going to countersink one here and one here so that when we line this up on our eventual uh, peg head, it will line up perfectly. So we'll undo this and we'll get our Forstner bit. The thing about this bit is it's flat on the bottom. So that means that the bolt will sit flat inside the template here. I do want this bolt head to be buried inside here because when we slide it around on the router table I don't want this protruding at all. Okay, there we go. The next stage is to drill the post holes. The bolts fit nice and tight, nice and straight. In fact, these holes are slightly undersized. And what I will be doing in the future, when, when I put this onto the actual peg head, I will drill through these two corners first to get this bolted on. And then what I'm gonna do 
is I will use the brad point and hammer it through here to put a mark on the peg head. That's where I'm going to end up drilling these holes through on the actual guitar neck. So when the peg head is done and this is all completed, what I will do because it's just a tad small for the uh, tuners, I'm going to use a reamer just to slightly put a taper on the hole so it's coming in like this because that's the way the the top bushing fits in there and it'll fit perfectly. So that's it. It's nice and smooth all the way around. It's made of Baltic birch. It's a three quarter inch and it, it just works beautifully. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you're inclined to subscribe, I'd appreciate that and give me a thumbs up on the, on the like side and we will see you in another video. So it is time for me to go upstairs and get myself a nice English breakfast tea. So we're all done for this jig. On to the next one. See you in another video. Bye for now.